break down. Oh, the next town is Look, I don't want to be rude, but leave me alone. What did you do? Murder, armed robbery, break someone's poor little heart, regicide? But that's the murder of a king. Did you murder a king down there in Vegas? <laughs> yeah, I murdered a king. Fabulous. I left the dishes in the sink while I left a chicken out to defrost. I left the television on. If I get going now, my husband will never know. He'll never suspect a thing. Ooh, except for something I left in the microwave. It's a home dinner. <laughs> I leave now. Nothing will happen that I can't take back. I really don't care. Oh, that's okay. Then don't go back. Keep walking. Decision made. Hmm. But just imagine my husband coming home to a to the stink of rotting chicken and soap scum on the dishes, house not clean, bed not made, other problems of a domestic nature. Boo hoo. Yeah, indeed. Yeah. I love this old highway. Great. Enjoy it. Mm. No, you know, I was here first. Get lost. Can't we share? Uh, if I had known someone was going to be here in this spot, which is just perfect for almost seeing my house, I, I would have made cookies or at least brought some water. Hmm. I picked this spot. It's mine. Well, I can stand over here. Don't you speak English? I wish I could speak German. My grandmother was German. Was she a Nazi? No. She was crazy, though. Mm, not as crazy as my great-grandmother. She loved Himmler. Had a picture of him on her second floor landing in Nebraska. She would talk to it, have long conversations with it. Mm, fabulous. I'm so glad you told me that. You're not. You want me to go. You want to be alone. Does a bear crap in the woods? Of course it does. Then, yeah. <laughs> Ah, so we both want to stay here, but for different reasons. You want to be alone. I want to be not so alone. Look, I have a knife. It's dull, but it's still a knife. I, I mean, it's somewhere. Uh, we're not men. We don't have to fight it out. I think we do. I'll stand over here. You stand there. Surely that's enough space, even for you. Why are you even here? I mean, we're in the middle of nowhere. There hasn't been a car for an hour. An hour! How can you thumb for a ride if the ride never shows up? I, um, I live just down the road. Where that long column of smoke is? You betcha, sweetie. D don't you think you should go put it out? Just burning some trash. What if it gets out of hand? It's very dry here. Eh, not my problem. Nevada was made to burn. Air pollution? Destruction of property? Loss of life? I mean, really? You should go take care of that fire. It'll put itself out. Not without some help. <laughs> so falsely caring. Obvious. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> Is that even your house? I mean... Why burn it down? Okay, that's cool. I, I can respect a fire bug. Honestly? Sure. You respect me. I might respect you more if you checked on that fire. <sighs> There'll be traces of memory on the air now. Traces of love and hate and indifference. Okay, lady. <laughs> Please. Call me Ruth. You wouldn't happen to be Naomi, would you? Was that an explosion? <laughs> Never mind. I'm Ruth. No last names today. Nothing that links us to anyone or any place. that will except for this bit of Highway 50, which we can both share. And who are you? Other than Fierce Guardian of the Black Top. I don't have a name. Because you murdered a king. Of course. <laughs> okay, so, oh, I can call you whatever I want. Naomi it is. No, I hate that name. Too bad, Naomi. I said no. 
Does anyone listen when a woman says no, Naomi? <laughs> Apparently not. Oh, that's the first honest thing you've said. Bravo. Honest Abe, that's me. Well, apparently not. I've burned down my house, Naomi. So, uh, what have you done? Quit calling me that hateful name. No, oh, am I to guess? Naomi. Don't you go to jail for burning down your house? Oh, sure, if they catch you. What did you do? I'm not just curious. No, no judgments here. God knows I've killed and buried my share of enemies and friends alike. <laughs> oh, I've always loved this view. can barely see where I live. Oh, where I used to live now. <laughs> so, what are we to do now? Where is it? Is it? Do you, do you want me to help you look, Naomi? No, I don't want your help. I don't want your company. I don't want you here in my spot. So go away. How much more clear can I make it? Oh, my. Drake, get moving, lady. No, it, it's Ruth. Ruth, Duluth, whatever. Fine. I can take a hint, subtle as you are, dearie. But here's my price. You have to tell me what you did. It's only fair I shared, now it's your turn, hmm? Otherwise, I'll just keep following you. Well, Greta, you can almost smell the smoke, almost. All right, you'll go. Sure, Greta. Did you really burn down your house? And it's not Greta. I put a coffee cup full of gasoline in the microwave. That's your word. Believe me, Naomi, or Greta, or Junebug, or... It's me, um... for Christ's sake. Oh. How can I believe anything you say? Phoebe. What a beautiful name. Phoebe. Oh, I don't have an answer to that. And what's the point? There's strangers meet on a road less traveled. That's the point. I told you something. I gave you my trust. I've just confessed to arson, a uh, punishable offense, as you pointed out, and especially when you leave three children tied up in the kitchen watching the microwave. <clears throat> that annoying border collie puppy, my husband and sister are buying for $500. $500! I haven't had a pair of new pants in three years, and he goes and buys a $500 dog. I mean, people dump free dogs around here all the time. It's just, it's too much. Uh -huh. Okay. No, I'm, I'm not crazy. I'm, I'm probably going to get caught. Fingerprints, DNA evidence, who knows what they got. Oh, and now this confession. Oh, I'm not a very good criminal. Are you serious? Yes. I, I could turn you in for a reward. What? A reward for the baby-killing, puppy-frying lady arsonist. But, but that... Uh, takes time that they would have to charge me. I'd have to escape in a blaze of gunfire. Oh, or I could throw rocks. I don't have a gun. Fine. Whatever. You want to know what I did? I beat the heck out of the skank that was banging my boyfriend. I put her in the hospital. And you know what? She died. The witch never woke up. So you see, I have real problems, you psycho weirdo. I'm not making this up. Nobody burns up their kids and their dog, nobody. I don't think it's a new idea, Phoebe. It's a nice name. Hmm. Will you take him back? Oh, your kind always does. Take him back? No. Ah, you will. You'll get lonely on the run, come back to Vegas, sniff around, because... You got that itch that you mistake for true love when it's really just an itch. You'll crawl back to him and you'll forget. And you'll grow blind again and deaf again because it's love. And nobody understands him and nobody makes you feel like he does. Shut Ugh. up. You're already thinking he needs to be forgiven. After all, the other girl's dead, right? <laughs> you said you'd leave if I told. I don't know. Oh, yeah, I did. 
or or we could hook up, you know, um, go on a cross country spree of, of some kind that we both killed. So maybe robbery. Goodbye, Ruth. The secret to getting away with a crime is to not tell anybody what you did. Yeah, or at least, you know, not leave anybody alive. Who knows? My memories are burning. Now I'm free. We've got this stretch of nowhere to get lost in and this fine morning. It was nice talking to you. Free. Until the next man and the next one. Free until then. Will I keep my promise? Nobody burns up their kids and their dog. Nobody.